Lilu Gran Turismo should put an end to the notion that video games don't lead to anything, even though I remain incapable of repairing a leaky toilet despite devoting most of my life to training as a plumber, thanks to Super Mario. However, he did teach me how to utilize my raccoon tail for flying, so at least there's that. <laughs> Okay, Lilu, it's that time again. Buckle up, let's talk Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is based on the incredible true story of a gamer who gets the opportunity to become a professional race car driver, providing the perfect excuse for kids worldwide to keep gaming, even when their parents say no by proclaiming, but mom, I'm learning how to become a race car driver. I'm studying. As someone who has played Gran Turismo since my childhood, I was surprised to discover that I knew very little about the actual sport of racing itself. My knowledge of racing mostly comes from movies. And it wasn't until I saw Gran Turismo that I truly understood why race car drivers are considered athletes. I never really gave the sport much thought. The film sheds light on the physical shape and immense forces that drivers experience while racing, enhancing my appreciation for the sport. It accurately portrays the enormous difficulty and physicality of racing, something that I haven't seen in other racing films and perfect for a novice like myself. Usually you just see the racer grit his teeth and jerk the wheel to the finish line without seeing the physical and mental toll. One of the most surprising aspects I learned from Gran Turismo was that the Le Mans race is a grueling 24 hour event. This revelation made me realize the incredible stamina and endurance required to be a race car driver, especially when compared to my own exhaustion after just 15 minutes of driving doing this movie review. And I mean, look at Lilu. She can barely keep her eyes open. I'm not sure we have what it takes, Lilu. Director Neil Blomkamp's decision to helm this sports film is unconventional, considering his background in dystopian sci-fi action films. Nevertheless, his direction adds a unique perspective to the sports genre. Blomkamp employs the use of drones in the film to capture the sense of speed and creates a visually dynamic look. The combination of drone shots with close-ups on the driver's faces allows for an immersive and emotionally engaging viewing experience. Furthermore, Blomkamp seamlessly transitions between real racing scenes and the character's video game roots, using visual cues such as video game lines on the road and transitioning from the race car to the video game at home, which is just visually cool. Lilu, it would definitely make it a little more interesting driving if we saw some cool video game overlays. This, this is so boring and you aren't helping. Blomkamp also strikes a balance between the thrilling spectacle and meaningful character arcs, as he gives enough development and room for our actors to create characters we care about. We. Now, I'm probably going to butcher this last name, but Archie Madque, I don't know, I'm putting it up here, I'm not good with names. Anyways, Archie delivers a convincing performance as an enduring underdog, bringing emotion and heart to his empathetic character. Orlando Bloom also brings fun energy as the marketing executive, while Jaimon Huntsu excels in his portrayal of the stereotypical sports movie father, even if he is underused. However, the standout performance belongs to David Harbour, who breathes life into the grumpy mentor character and anchors the film. Harbour's performance elevates the film and makes it all the more enjoyable. 
he truly excels in these grumpy father-like roles. The film's biggest drawback is its adherence to the typical sports movie framework. It embraces story elements that we have seen countless times before. You want a montage? Oh, we got a montage, all right. We even have the generic evil rich cocky driver who could only be the villain. It's all here. While these aspects may lack originality, the film's interesting story, unique filmmaking style, and strong performances manage to overcome these shortcomings. Gran Turismo crosses the finish line with flying colors, earning a well-deserved, Lilu, green light. Though it starts off a little slow, once it hits the accelerator, it becomes a thrilling ride that will please fans of the sport and newcomers alike. Lilu, you think I have what it takes to meet the physical demands of being a race car driver? <laughs> I like your confidence in me, Lilu. Let's get that pedal to the metal. Holy sh You look a little bit concerned. But don't worry, we might have fallen off a cliff and died. We've got extra lives, remember? This is a video game. Oh, we don't? Well...